Hi and welcome to Titan GB and a bit of a, a rambly update about uh, well all things Titan GB, but including both sort of projects and uh, the the upcoming schedule, as it were, and uh, myself and uh, the usual health updates and. Uh, a bit about sort of Black Friday deals and that kind of thing, uh, the response time tool, all that jazz. So um, yeah, starting off quickly, uh, I want to give you a heads up that I'm planning on taking the next, uh, I think, week or so um, off from posting videos, both uh, here on Tetrin GB and on At The Wheel. Uh, the long story short is that since the Alder Lake uh, chips basically landed with me, uh, I had uh, very little time to test them and uh, a whole lot of stuff to test. So uh, I usually have a, a backlog of videos, uh, normally about a week or maybe a week and a half to two weeks at most, uh, of videos sort of pre-made, ready to go. That means that if one video ends up taking three or four or five days, uh, you know, across multiple parts for me to go and do, you know, benchmarking for three days sort of on and off while doing other videos in between, that kind of stuff, um, I can I can sort of manage that. I can shuffle things around so that I can still make those three videos a week plus the one for at the wheel. Uh, whereas right now I have a backlog of zero. Like the video you're seeing today was edited today, um, and so what that means is that I don't have that time to be able to go and benchmark stuff and uh, whatever because I'm working full tilt just to get whatever is going up that night or you know the next the next night. Uh, sort of done and, and ready to go. Uh, so that's the, the main idea for a, a short break. Also, I'm for the first time in uh, probably forever planning on taking, I think it's the with the schedule, the week after Christmas off in terms of posting videos as well. So just thought I'd update you on that one specifically. As for the, the health side of things, um, one of the reasons why I am uh, planning on taking that week off is that uh, having having the the insane rush to get you know a video finished for like you know two hours from publication time kind of thing uh, is it's incredibly sort of stressful and uh, anxiety inducing for me. Uh, it just doesn't really work well with me. Um, so that's the the sort of thought process as it were behind that one. Uh, but. In the long story short, uh, the, the mental health uh, side of things, I think since I last had an update, uh, has potentially changed slightly in that uh, I now have a, an official diagnosis for ADHD, which explains a hell of a lot. Uh, and I'm also now on a waiting list to get an official diagnosis for uh, some, you know, somewhere on the autistic spectrum, basically. Um, and I'm now actually on medication for ADHD, which is really useful because, uh, at least for me anyway, the uh, main sort of uh, problem or symptom, as it were, uh, is uh, a loss of what's called executive function. Basically, executive function is the part of your brain that turns the impulses in, you know, impulses like you want to stand up, you want to walk, you want to go to the toilet or have some food. Those even basic things, let alone make a YouTube video, uh, those uh, takes those impulses and turns them into the actions that you can go and do. You know, it's the thing that actually makes you get up to go to the toilet, whatever, right? Um, and basically, when you lose that, uh, you are uh, very conscious that you have lost it. You generally know, like you're, you, you still have your active thought process, uh, knowing that you should be doing something or you even want to do something, but you just physically cannot make yourself do it uh, and so the, uh, uh, the the medications that you, you're normally given are stimulants uh, specifically uh, the one I'm on is uh, amphetamines uh, dex uh, lizdex amphetamine uh, anyway that is uh, a stimulant that stimulates that part of the brain and so allows you to have that function again um, and I must admit that it is fantastic uh, and I've, I, I'm significantly improved uh, on you know being on that that medication which is fantastic the downside is that it turns out if you also have a, a comorbidity of uh, both autism and uh, ADHD and some form of autism um, when you treat ADHD uh, they often sort of it's not really balancing each other out but that kind of thing uh, but when you treat one uh, you then uh, the, the other one gets to express itself uh, more more uh, 
acutely as, a, as it were, so um, I'm kind of dealing with that uh, at the moment, uh, and so I'm, I'm on a, a very long waiting list uh, to be seen about that, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let you know when, when, whenever I get round to actually being seen for that one. As for the, the physical health side of things, that is uh, kind of consistent. Um, if you don't know, I have uh, basically arthritis never drop my body. My eyes, uh, the front layer of my eyes are, is, is literally falling off. Um, and is, uh, when that happens, it's incredibly painful and makes me blind in that eye for, well, uh, blurry and un, uh, not visible through that eye. Um, for a, a day or two and a, an insane amount of pain so um, that still happens also my uh, my stomach uh, I get stomach ulcers and gastritis and uh, things like that so uh, that one doesn't work either basically you can pick a part of my body and I can tell you what's wrong with it which is nice and fun uh, but uh, since I'm keeping so insanely busy uh, it's it's less of a problem I'm not really sitting and dwelling on any of it it just kind of happens deal with it, probably take some painkillers, and then uh, just get on with it, whatever else I, I kind of needed to do. So uh, yeah, it's terrible, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm okay. And speaking of things that are keeping me busy, the response time tool is definitely doing that. Um, I have been working absolute full tilt on that. Um, I've been up actually like till 3 a.m. most days uh, working on it over the last couple of weeks uh, and yeah it's almost done like almost uh, I've done a, a, a sort of revision for the, the, the hardware as it were uh, to improve the accuracy uh, I'm working with Simon from TFT Central who is doing a load of different testing and validation on it and finding plenty of bugs that I'm uh, you know fixing as we go but uh, yeah that is uh, almost ready. The, his uh, oscilloscope results seem to line up very nicely with the raw data that I'm capturing and saving to its own file. Uh, so all of the actual processing, all of the, the final uh, response time numbers are coming uh, from the, the desktop app that does all of the processing rather than from the, the hardware itself. The hardware just saves the, the raw like light level um, samples as it were and then the desktop app is the the one that actually does goes and processes that which means that I can improve the the desktop apps processing without having to d change anything with the, the hardware or even the, the firmware on it um, which is uh, very handy and you can also reprocess all of your old results in uh, you know the a newer version of the software uh, without you know losing any data or anything like that so um, that's uh, we're, we're, we're definitely getting there. There's still a few things uh, to, to tweak and work out and uh, get sorted. But uh, once we do, uh, I will be uh, building the units for all of the people who have already pre-ordered. And if you want to pre-order one or if you want, uh, if you know any, you know, reviewers who you think would want to pre-order one, feel free to either let them know or uh, ping me an email. Uh, I'll leave the uh, link to the uh, email link that I created uh, through locally, which was... Uh, pretty great um, or you can uh, hit me up on Twitter kind of thing so yeah almost there I'm very excited and the, the final note is uh, the sort of Black Friday Cyber Monday sales um, I will probably do my best to, to tweet some uh, some of the deals that I can find uh, but if you happen to be uh, uh, looking through some deals, especially on Amazon. Uh, I'll leave a global affiliate link uh, in the description as well if you want to check that out. That uh, hopefully will be the, a link to all of the, uh, the the local, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales uh, where you are. Uh, and then, yeah, if you're using, if you're buying from there, you want to check out those deals, feel free to, to check that out in uh, with that link. Uh, also, if you're buying from Overclock GK, I also have an affiliate link for them in the description, so feel free to take a look at that. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of that, really. Um, I uh, I don't think I've got anything else. Obviously, if you want to, you know, support my uh, my work, as it were, uh, then there's plenty of ways to do that. There's obviously using those affiliate links. Uh, you can uh, support stuff directly through YouTube. You can do that through Patreon instead. Uh, or you can just, you know, uh, obviously hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the, the bell notification icon. Uh, and 
Uh, you can also check out our Discord community if you want to uh, join there. There should be a link to that in the description as well. Or, of course, uh, other affiliate links and stuff like that. Merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one. That kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I'll, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you all in about a week, give or take. I may or may not stream next week as well. Uh, I will let you know on Twitter and Discord if that's if it is or isn't happening. Uh, and obviously, if you are subscribed with the bell notification icon, you'll be notified uh, if I am and whenever the next video comes out as well. So should be all good. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, have a great day, week, whenever you're watching this. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. When I see you.